is Jim with Diesel Geek and today we're going to show you our new shaft bushings for the Mark IV, Mark V, and Mark VI cars. Um, you can see with this car right here, um, this is a Mark IV Jetta. Um, there's a you know, good amount of side to side slop and so um, we're going to go in there and we're going to see where it is if uh, we can. So you want to just with your thumbs, you want to push against the back of the shift boot ring, push it forward and it'll pop up and then you'll just lift it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin the shifter and show you where I've found the most slop. And the most slop is coming right here from the shifter shaft itself where it goes into the, um, the pivot housing. You can see that it, it moves side to side a lot. And um, the bushings that are in there, these are some better ones right here. These are the bushings and you can see they're, they're kind of squishy and rubbery. And when they get old, they crumble and then they fall apart. So um, you can see here, it's pretty clear that this this bushing is, is completely gone. Um, this push down function is for reverse only. If we didn't have to push down for reverse, we wouldn't have all this. So what we want to do is we want to make this as tight a union, you know, as tight a um, hold this as tightly as possible. Um, to keep it from moving like this because that just makes for an inaccurate shifter So what I've done here is I pin the shifter just to show you that um, We're gonna go ahead and try to replace these bushings here So the first step is you're going to cut the crimp for the shift boot the shift knob So you do that and um, Kind of peel it a little bit I should just pull up and off. So then this upper upper um, keeper, it's steel. It's black steel. I'm gonna wipe it off here. And this this keeper has a groove that it slips onto. And the only way to get this keeper off, because it has these little ears, is you've got to get your you've got to get this upper spring seat pushed all the way down. And it can be tricky. See that? I push it all the way down, and then the seat, I mean, the upper keeper comes out. So, and you can just let it up, and then don't lose this. Set it aside. Go ahead and pull the upper spring seat and the spring off. And you can see this, this upper spring seat has broken. You can see, comparing it, it's all broken up. And I haven't messed with this yet, so this is... You're seeing it as it happens so you can see it's already deteriorated we're in texas so it gets hot here so anyway um then what we have here is a big mess we have a bushing that is um this bushing right here this is a good one still and it's all in pieces i mean it, cut, it came apart and it's all in pieces so we're gonna have to um, get out some picks and some screwdrivers and we're gonna have to pick out as many of these pieces as possible so that it doesn't there was a there's a lady in Florida who um, her shifter came um, it kind of got stuck down in reverse because all this kind of was slid in there and it, it, it keep, kept the shaft from being able to go up and down anymore so we're gonna cut out and do a little cleanup and we'll come back